Hello, everyone. My guest today is Rick Shanek. He is the founder of a company called Kina.nl. He's an indie product developer living on a 2D plane people called the Netherlands. He's a data two on a journey to support his family by building and selling highly interactive web companies. Rick, you ready to take us to the top? Yeah. All right. So, so, guys, if you want to follow along, the URL is pqina.nl. Rick, what's the company do? Yeah. Well, like I said, I, I build uh, uh, web components. So parts, little little pieces you can use on your website, little pieces of code that, that help you well, convert more customers or uh, add some interactivity to, uh, to your website. And is this a SaaS company? What's the business model? Business model is a subscription based. Uh, uh, so you purchase a library a piece of code and then uh, you pay yearly to, well, to get updates and to receive uh, support. So what's so the average can, customer paying per, per month or per year? Uh, around 200 US dollars, I guess. Per year? Per year, yeah. Okay, great. So call it 17, 18 bucks uh, per month. And then yeah. uh, b- kind of break down the backstory here. When did you launch the company? What year? Uh, I guess it was, I think it was 2016. Not 100% sure. Uh, what do you so, mean you're not 100% sure? This is like a big moment in a founder's life. You don't remember yeah. when you founded your own company? I kind of drifted into it. Like I had a full-time job and I, I needed, I was, was building stuff on the side and uh, like I needed a company name. I was just, so, so uh, I, I needed to put the, the, the income somewhere. It was just a little bit. So, so I'm not sure when it was exactly. <laughs> what was your full-time job? I was a web developer. At a big yeah. Dutch uh, web development agency. Oh, interesting. So, Are you still working there or did you quit? No, I quit like uh, two years uh, or like five years ago, four years ago. And then I first started freelancing, doing uh, projects for other customers. Uh, and when income from my web components started to grow, uh, I quit my job. and Or I quit freelancing and went full-time uh, developing web components. And that was like uh, last year in uh, uh, summer. That that's when I let the last client go. Uh, that's great. And so, what did you do last year in terms of like if you add up all your revenue from last year? Uh, around eighty k, I think. Eighty thousand bucks. Okay. And what do you think you'll do this year? Well, it's uh, it, it was project. Pro- I was projecting it to be around one fifty, but with the whole COVID situation and. Uh, I think it's impacting uh, sales. So sales are a bit down right now, but I'm hoping it'll pick up after summer. Maybe if uh, things in the U.S. Uh, get better as well. well. Well, how many sales have you done to date this year? To date, uh, like the total since, I guess it's around 300, uh, maybe 400 sales. Yeah. Sorry, to, what is total revenue it's like today, but, but January 1st to today, 2020? I had to look it up. <laughs> well, 400 sales, are they $200 each sale? They're like one, one, uh, 29 for a, a normal developer license and 500 bucks for a company license. Okay, so, so like, you don't know what, you don't know how much you've made this month in terms of top line sales, or this year in terms of top line sales. No, well, I, I have a, I don't have a number like at the forefront of my head, but like, like the, the average revenue a month is like 10K, uh, 13K. So multiply that by six or seven. Got and it. Then, so you've done like 60, 50, $60,000 a month or yeah. sorry, so far this um, year. Yeah. Okay. Where are you? So, so kind of break, break down the transition from this is a side hustle for your full-time job to having the courage to quit the job, to go all in on this. Like, are you, I see a ring on your finger. Are you married? What did your spouse think about you quitting your full-time job? So, um, uh, yeah, I was building uh, web components uh, next to my full-time job for a while and inc- income wasn't fantastic, but uh, there came a point where at my full-time job, things were going, well, it wasn't the best. Uh, let's say, let's keep it at that. So at that point I quit and the freelance market in the, in the Netherlands was uh, was fantastic at that point. That it, it still is. Uh, so that was a bit risky. Um, but 
yeah, after that point, I, I, I we, we just saved up a bit of money doing some projects and then we had, I could spend more time working on those web components uh, of mine. Uh, and she, she is fully supporting me in that. So uh, we, uh, we have two kids. So it's a bit, uh, yeah, it, it, it put, it, it really puts things in perspective of, of how, uh, uh, of that this company has to do, do well. So with the couple, last couple of months, like sales have been a bit down. It's, it's really stressful. So, so yeah. Uh, but, but my wife supports me, uh, doing this, uh, which is lovely. And I'm, I'm at home. Uh, I work from home. So the kids, I see them a lot and, uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's great. What is your, and when COVID hit and sales took a hit and you had to have a conversation with your wife and, and say, Hey, listen, like, listen, sales are taking a hit. And it was obviously a very stressful time. How did that conversation sound? Yeah. Well, she's like, well, we have, we have saved up a bunch of money in the, in the, the start of the year. So uh, she's fine with it. So no, well, it's, it's not, it's not like, it's not like uh, the company's going under or something, but it's just, like 30 percent 40 percent uh drop in sales since june so that is kind of stressful but it's still enough to keep uh to, to support a family and, and how much have you raised or have you bootstrapped the company it's bootstrapped yeah bootstrapped so, okay got it and what's your team is it just you it's me yeah that's good that's good yeah. okay so you're doing all the design all the engineering everything yeah marketing that's great business stuff would you ever raise, would you ever go raise money for this? Uh, I, I had some offers from family members, but eventually it, it just felt good to do it all on my own. And mm -hmm. I, I, I love to, to, to build the stuff on my own and, and yeah. So, and, and which, so, which of your see. products, so you have, you have Bikina, right? But then you have products under it, like FilePond. Is FilePond the biggest one that drives the most revenue? Yeah, it's it's completely free. So it's it's mostly a marketing product. So it's a free free library for developers to use. It looks fantastic, and and they'll they'll. So, then sorry, the question them. the question is, I'm just curious. So which product makes the most money for you under Pekina? It's, it's Doka Doka Image Editor. How do you spell that? Uh, D O K A. D O K A. Okay, got it. And it's, so it's File Pond is the free version of Doka. It's like the the it's it's a it's a different product, but uh, Doka is like a uh, like PowerPoint offers file uploading and image uploading, and then often you want your customers to also allow you want them to uh, be able to edit images as well, and then that's where Doka comes in, and they integrate very easily. So like it's a five minute integration. So if a customer already has a file font, they'll they'll look at uh, Doka if they. Uh, yeah. So anyone building anyone building an email marketing tool where users upload images and you want them to have some lightweight ways to edit the images, you could use Doka, which is a high performance JavaScript image editing tool in the browser. They integrate it in five minutes and then they use you. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Great. And so again, let's say I, I am that use case. I am the founder of an email marketing company. I want to use Doka in my campaign, like email builder. I'm just paying you one time for a year long license. There's no like, I don't have a limit on number of API requests or anything like that. No, it's it's completely uh, contained. Like the package runs in the browser. There's no server there. Interesting. I feel like you're yeah. leaving money on the table. Yeah, <laughs> I think too. So I've been considering offering it like like with with a backend uh, to it that will do image uh, transforms or uh, image storage as well. Uh, but it's it, that might be a next step. Mm -hmm. How are customers finding you? Um, I think 50% Google and, and uh, the rest is like uh, via FileBond uh, and other open source uh, products that I sell or sell, I, I have available. The 50% that come from Google, what do they search on Google to find you? Like JavaScript image editor or React image editor, stuff like that, image cropper. So I try to write a lot of articles that, that feature those uh, search terms or write articles that are related to image editing. And then they'll end up on uh, on one of my articles or on the front page of uh, Doka. 
Mm-hmm. This is a competitive keyword, though, right? I mean, you've got photo editor SDK uh, pays for ads for the, these keywords. You rank number one. There's also some GitHub stuff that that are basically free tools. Yeah. But you you do rate you do uh, you are ranked number one for that keyword JavaScript uh, image editor. Yeah. Yeah, this is interesting. Um, was it tough? I mean, did you come from an SEO background, so you knew exactly what to write to rank for that, or did you have to work a little bit? I, I did I did a lot of HTML and CSS uh, uh, when I worked for the web web development uh, company. So I had a lot of experience with, with writing the correct HTML content and using the right tags. Did a lot of research as well on what 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 to do to to to, uh, to make it the better indexable stuff like that. Yeah. Very good. All, all right, Rick. Let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one favorite business book. Sorry. <laughs> Favorite business book. Favorite business book. Um, I think it's hundred dollar startup. Hundred dollar yeah. startup. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Um, not no one particularly comes to mind at the moment. Number three, no. what's your favorite online tool for building your company? Um, Visual Studio Code. Number four, how many hours of sleep to get every night? Um, well, with the kids, that is like seven. seven <laughs> <six. laughs> so, so seven hours of sleep. You have two kids married, right? Yeah. Um, and how old are you? Well, I'm doing okay. Yeah. No, how, how old are you? How old I am? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm uh, 38. 38. Last question. What's something you wish you knew when you were 20 years old? Well, that, that, that stuff doesn't have to be perfect if it's good. Then, then people will like it as well. So, and, and giving everything away for free, it's like, like just build something and, and see if people uh, are interested in it. Guys, I think there, that, that, yeah. there, there you have it from Rick again, buildbikinia.nl. He has two critical tools under that. One is free, the other is Doka. It is a paid license. He's got hundreds of people that have paid for it. He's doing about $10,000 a month in revenue. I did about 80,000 total last year on track to do called 120,000 this year. Again, selling a $200 license to his tool, again, which enables brands or companies to upload and add image editing to whatever software they're building. Rick, thanks for taking us to the top. You're welcome.